Okay, so I ordered on Amazon a couple weeks ago this Melissa and Doug uh, felt or foam, however you say. Um, it's like a sandwich set and it has different pieces of sandwiches. And so I made a game out of it or you can use it for matching. You can use it as a task or a reinforcement. And so what I did was you can either play this for little kids and make it more advanced for big kids. But what I'm going to put in there is a dice. I have a whole pack of dice um, that I can use when I'm making different games. Then what I did was I took a picture of each um, item. Well, I took a picture of the whole item on the box and then I cropped them and I made individual cards off of it. And then these cards here are for the cards that have multiple items, which are only two. There's the one that has peanut butter and jelly. And then there's one that has mayo, mustard, and ketchup. So um, I'm going to say, say I'm playing a game with a more advanced kid. You roll the dice. One color would be even numbers that you land on. One color would be odds. Roll the dice, and I get a five. Odd. Odd is going to be the green. Pick a card. It's peanut butter and jelly. So what I would have to do, we're basically going to build a sandwich. This, since it's a double card, you would draw one of these. And it would be peanut butter. So what are you going to do? You're going to lay your cards out, roll again, lay it out. And I'm going to say you take maybe three times. So we'll take maybe three times. So what we have to do, we got to go in here and we've got to find our, our wheat bread, our turkey, and we ended up getting peanut butter. So we're going to find our peanut butter. And where's our other slice of bread? And we're basically building a sandwich. You can play as many games you can come up with this. This is just something I just came up with right now. But there's so much stuff you can do with these. These are the pieces I have in here. And you can think of, I'll probably think of different games. Um, write them down, put them on a piece of paper. And um, put them in here. That way I can remember what games I have to play. We also can play have a kid pick a card and you would say, do you have peanut butter? Do you have jelly? I mean, you could do so much with this. This is just something I thought of. And I'm going to put this in here as a little kit. And so for $15 and some laminating sheets and a printer, you have a whole different set of things you can do. Games, you can use, like I said, you can use this as a reinforcement and just let them play with it. Um, or you can use it as a task and think of different learning games, matching games, sequence games, um, counting, whatever you can think of to go with it. So, like I said, $15, I've created countless games I can do and use for work.